Hello guys, if you don't know, a few days ago I made a community post saying to uh, give me questions that I will be able to answer because I'm going to be doing a weekly Q&A for my videos now because there's not really much content to make on this game at the moment other than the uh, plenty of us and stuff, but I've already made content on that so I'm going to be doing weekly Q&As so yeah, cool, so let's respond to some of these comments Can you show us your settings page? So right now, here's my settings page it really depends what height you are, IRL, or you can just do a uh, auto set height, and it would probably reset it. But yeah, um, snap angle zero. I do this and not smooth tune because it gets more frames when walking around, so it's just better video quality. My height adjustment is 0.42. My inventory height is 1.715. I put my laugh weapon on my back, which is the bunny bus. My rat weapon on my belt, which is the pistol. Music volume all the way down. Sound effect volume 72. Voice shadow volume 100. I lower this to 90 though once I'm out in the world. How did you come up with the name of A7X? Now, A7X, um, I just wanted a cool um, community of players that are really good at the game. So people can view this because really good players, people only thought of just me. They never really knew what other good players they were. So I made A7X, people can see what good players they are, other than me. And I came up with the name because I wanted to be short. Like, I wanted to be like, something that represents the best players. So I made three digits. I was thinking of three digits of the, uh, of what the name would be gonna be like. Oh my gosh, there's an A7X member in here. Like, just a simple short thing. So, I remembered something called X43, which is a clan in Sale, and I just thought the link to it sounded cool. So, I just took inspiration off that, put it in ChatGPT because I'm not creative at all, and ChatGPT came up with the name A7X. And if you're wondering if A7X stands for anything, no, it does not. I think. It may stand for something, but I don't think it does. Is Icy Cobra better than me? The, qu the answer is I'm not sure. Last I met him in game, I killed him more than he killed me. So you may think, oh, doesn't that mean I'm better than him? No, it does not, because I haven't met him in a while. I did meet him in an event just uh, a week or two ago. I think it was a few days ago, actually. And we never actually did any 1v1s in it, though. So, I'm not 100% sure who is a better at the game. Who made any profile picture? Hmm. Yeah. I should be wondering who made that profile picture. Um, remember this Potato Jelly Jake guy? Who in the world are you, by the way? I don't know who you are. Yeah. Potato Jelly Jake? I wonder who made the profile picture. Yeah. Really confusing. How do you feel about the current state of sale we got? Now, I have mixed feelings on it. I'd say, in the test build, PvP is finished. I don't think there needs to be any updates to PvP whatsoever. And in my opinion, it's already perfect. However, PvE... It's not... The best in the world. Like... In my opinion, shooting skeletons is kinda cool, but when you hit a NPC with a sword... It's not in- there's no colliders or anything, you can't just pick up the monsters and throw them like playing sorcery. It's just, I don't know, it feels unfinished. But the exploring and stuff is really good. So, the current state of sale VR, there are lots of bugs and stuff, but the game's in beta. So, you're gonna have to expect lots of bugs. When are you gonna give Potato Jelly Jake that five gold skulls? Oh, um, no, 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 we, we don't talk about that potato. Hold on, just cross this comment off. We don't talk about that potato. Come on, potato. I don't know why you're talking about the five gold skulls. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, please. It doesn't exist. What's my best tip for making sale content? Just make content of the things you like. Treasure hunting. You can probably edit that down to make a really good video. Um, PvE. You can also probably edit that down to make a really good video. PvP. You can also edit that down to make a really good video. Simply staying in port and talking to people, you can probably edit that down to make a very good video. You want to spend most of your time editing, not recording. I see a lot of sale YouTubers out there that just want to completely skip the editing, mostly. 
wild card. I've seen wild card in a few of his videos. Most of his videos are pretty well edited. But in some of his videos, he leaves out a lot of gameplay. Like, let's say in his, uh, one of his, uh, one of his newest videos, the minigame one. He, uh, in the, um, the cannonball dodgeball thing, he leaves out a bunch of the, uh, the uh, gameplay in that. Like, so much that players, that other people are probably just gonna click off of it. Because it's just one straight gameplay. You want to add a bunch of cuts, now make it so long. Now, obviously, you want to make the video longer so you get more watch time, so your uh, video gets promoted even more, but you want to edit it down perfectly. You don't want to spend so much time recording. How does it feel to be um, the biggest main sell YouTuber? Um, I don't know. It just feels, I, it feels like an accomplishment. Like, I'm proud that I'm the biggest right now. My literal dream was to become really good at sale, make content on it, become a big successor in the game, and I think I, I have. But like, one problem with it is this main player base is kids. And when I go to Dead Man's, just like Hab147, he gets noticed a lot, and it gets annoying over time. Especially since this is a competitive game, and people like target other people. It just gets a little annoying after some time, but I am proud of being the most popular sale YouTuber at the moment. Kind of done it without you guys, so thank you a lot. English or Spanish? I see Torbra? Tor Torbra? What? Is Wildcard a skill issue? He's the biggest skill issue ever in this, in this history of sale. He's the biggest skill issue I've ever seen in my life. He's the- he- he is the skill issue. Wildcard is the skill issue. His entire life is a skill issue. How am I so good? I started, um, basically before sale even released. Um, I was a person that played single player back then. I played over a year of the game, even before it came out. I was a very good sale single player player. I got up to 10 million gold, I think. I think I did. I'm gonna tell me 10 million gold. I got the, uh, the XL, which was the biggest boat in the game, it's not even in multiplayer. It's just so big, I don't think they can add it in multiplayer. But yeah, that was one of the reasons I got so good, and some of the other OGs got so good, because I started early. Most players started after multiplayer released. I started right at the day multiplayer got released. Now, I wasn't that good at the game, obviously, but... I didn't have a lot more time than other players to get good at the game. When did I begin playing Sail VR? I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. It was, I know for a fact it was over a year ago in 2023 where I started playing Sail VR. I just don't know when. I'm pretty sure it was a year and a half ago before Happy made his video on the game. I think that's when I started playing. I'm not entirely sure, but I know I played um, before Multiplayer got released, and I think it was around the update that Habby147 made his first video on the game, around that single player update that didn't include um, harpoons and stuff like that. Also, the quests were broken, so I couldn't really play the game that much, but I still played it, and I had lots of fun on it. If I could add one thing to sale via, what would it be? I'd say PvP is finished. There is nothing that can be added to sale via at the moment for the PvP. But for PvE, I would like them to add skeleton forts. Now, these skeleton forts will take a long time to finish, however, they will include a bunch of gold. This would encourage uh, tucking. If you don't know what tucking is, basically a Sea of Thieves tactic that includes you sneaking on a fort, on a fort, and once the player is done finishing it, you can go and sink their boat, kill them, and then you would get all the treasure instead of them. 
And I feel like that would make a really good video to make while uh, his skeleton was active. Because right now, people are only doing PvP in Dead Man and Dead Man's. So if these skeleton folks are going to be a thing, people are going to be encouraged to do PvP out in the world to take out the people that have these skeleton forts. Because again, there's going to be a lot of gold in them. So if I could add one thing to sell VR, it would be skeleton forts. When did I start playing Cell competitively? Um, I started playing Cell competitively, I think when I joined C Sports. It was the first ever multiplayer event in C Sports, I think. Um, and I played with, uh, Whitebeard and a Sale VR admin slash hacker. He had all the cosmetics. I played against, uh, them. By the way, the hacker didn't have hacks at all. It was perfectly fine. He just had all the cosmetics. But yeah, I was the, uh, I was the one that won the round. Me, Whitebeard, and the, uh, guy that had all the cosmetics in the game. Um, I won that tournament. I'm proud of winning the first ever tournament, but I don't win tournaments that much anymore since players have gotten so good at the game. I am proud of winning that one though. So, I think the first level C Sports event was around nine months ago and multiplayer first release. That's my guess, around eight to nine months ago. When did my channel start to see rapid growth? Anyway, that is going to be the end of this uh, Q&A type thing. If you enjoy this and want to do more of them, then uh, type in the comments if you want to. Uh, if you want me to do more of these, I'm going to be doing this either weekly or monthly. I'm going to put a pinned comment below this video if I should do it monthly or if I should do it weekly. So, uh, but yeah, bye guys. I'll see you in the next Q&A. Goodbye.